What if I told you in just a few years, your backyard could grow up to 90% of your food? Not with endless tilling and chemical spraying, but with nature doing the heavy lifting. That's the power of a permaculture food forest. It's a low maintenance, high yield system that feeds you, the soil and the planet. Today, I'm giving you the five essential accurate steps to design your own edible ecosystem. So let's get designing. Permaculture's first principle is observation. Before you dig, plant, or buy a single thing, make sure you study your site. This is called sector analysis. Where does the sun rise and set in summer versus winter? The sun's path tells you where to put your canopy trees for shade and where to place your sun-loving annuals. Identify your prevailing winds and cold air pockets. We design windbreaks like hedgerows or tall shrubs perpendicular to cold or destructive winds to protect our tender plants. Where does water naturally flow and collect? The slopes, the valleys and the ridges. This is your site telling you where it wants to hold or shed water. We always want to slow and sink it. Finally, think in zones. Zone 1 is high traffic nearest your house, kitchen gardens, herbs. Zone 2 is your food forest. It gets visited less often, but requires more established care. Water is the single most critical element. In permaculture, we don't irrigate first. We design the landscape to collect and store energy. This requires earthworks. You need to find the contour line, the line of equal elevation across your slope. This is where your water management system goes. The most famous DIY permaculture earthwork is the swale. It's a trench dug on contour with a mound downhill from it. The swale catches the rainwater runoff. The berm is where you plant your trees. The water slowly sinks, passively watering your canopy species. If you're on a small urban lot, consider a rain garden or connecting your downspouts to water holding garden beds. This diverts rooftop water free, clean water, into your soil, building deep moisture reserves instead of sending it down the drain. This is where the real magic happens. A food forest isn't a row of crops, it's a stack of life. We copy the seven structural layers of a natural mature forest to maximize solar energy capture and food production per square meter. Tallest main fruit nut trees like pecans, mature apples or large acacias for chop and drop biomass. Smaller fruit trees, often dwarf varieties like citrus or plums. Bushes and berries like blueberries, raspberries and rosellas. Annual or perennial herbs, comfrey, rhubarb, asparagus. Spreading plants like strawberries, clover or nasturtiums to protect the soil root crops like sweet potato, carrots or yams, vines and climbers like grapes, passion fruit, dragon fruit, cucumbers, melons and even pumpkins. And I nearly forgot chocos. The key is diversity. Every layer serves a function, production, biomass, nutrient accumulation or pest control. One of the 
the best things I've ever learnt over the years is never plant alone. Plants, like humans, do better in community. A plant guild is a group of species planted together to provide mutual benefit. A tiny, self-regulating ecosystem. By including these support species, you reduce your work drastically. The nitrogen fixers feed the fruit tree, the accumulators mine the nutrients, and the ground covers eliminate the need for mulch and weeding. And don't forget the pest confusers. You've observed, you've mapped, you've chosen your guilds. Now the implementation starts. Start small and slow. Begin with your canopy and low tree layers first. Then infill with your shrubs, herbs and ground covers. This is the secret source of permaculture fertility. Any plant material you trim, especially from your dynamic accumulators like comfrey or nitrogen fixers, you chop it and drop it right there on the soil surface. This fallen material becomes your mulch, your fertilizer and your weed suppression. It allows your soil food web to flourish without disturbance. You're building the topsoil layer year after year, just like a natural forest floor. A permaculture food forest is the ultimate low effort, high yield system. But once established, it's a regenerative, self feeding ecosystem that will give back for decades. So, are you ready to grow the future in your backyard? Hit that like button if this guide was helpful. And comment below and tell me what canopy trees you would plant. And subscribe to Gather the Green for more accurate, practical permaculture plans. Every root network plays its own pitch. Companion planting will work in the land. Insects and birds help us lend a hand. Nature's own chorus and orchestra grand. In the forest, we're guided by the earth's